Hello friends, my name is Pastor Alyssa and welcome to Children's Time. Today we are celebrating World Communion Sunday and in worship we're talking about the meaning of communion. Does anyone know where communion came from? Well, if we turn in our Bibles to the gospel, we can learn about communion. Communion came from Jesus' last meal with his disciples before he went to the cross. He gathered all of his disciples together for what now some people call the Last Supper. And uh, he shared a meal with them. And during this meal, Jesus wanted to teach them because that's who Jesus was, a teacher. And he wanted to give them something to remember him by. And so he took the bread and he broke the bread and he gave it to his disciples. And he said, each time you do this, each time you break bread together, do so in remembrance of me. So what, what do you think the bread means what does bread have to do with Jesus? Well, there are scriptures where Jesus talks about being called the bread of life. And so bread is something that we eat and people at the time ate to give nourishment, um, to feed your body uh, so that you could keep going. And he called himself the bread of life. And so while bread feeds your body physically, it's talking about a different kind of being filled up. Uh, being filled up with bread of life, meaning that he sustains us spiritually and emotionally and present with us. And so Jesus shared in the bread with his disciples. And after everyone had taken bread he took the cup and the cup had uh, wine or we use uh, juice in our church and he shared with his disciples uh, now each time you drink of cup with one another do so in remembrance of me and so the cup is a symbol of Jesus's blood and Jesus uh, coming to be among us and a sign of uh, and a place for forgiveness and so with the bread and the cup those two things together are what we now call communion and so if you've come uh, to worship with us before or worshiped online with us you have uh, probably seen us take communion together and maybe you've even joined us in communion uh, in church you usually come forward and you get a piece of bread and uh, partake in the cup and that is joining in communion with one another today we are celebrating World Communion Sunday. And so Christians all over the world are celebrating communion with one another. They're celebrating the love of Christ, forgiveness of Christ, and celebrating being together as one, being together the body of Christ. And so there are people all over the world, um, people who speak different languages than us, people who may look different than us, people who go to different churches and uh, go to different schools and workplaces, people whose families look different than us, all of us are gathering together because there is no uh, limit and no barrier to coming to the table. And that's what we are celebrating on World Communion Sunday, that even though we may be different, we are all one in the body of Christ. And so sometimes that communion practice will look different in 
different church spaces. Sometimes you have like a loaf of bread that the pastor will break and then tear off pieces for people as they come forward. Sometimes your bread may look different. Maybe it's sliced bread or maybe it's more of a flat bread. Uh, but all bread is welcome at Christ's table just like all people are. And so you get your bread and then uh, some churches uh, have cup like the one I've showed you before and some people dip their bread in the juice or in the cup and then uh, take communion and there's a big word for that it's called intinction so that's one way people come and partake at communion and then some people uh, churches have little cups and everyone gets a little cup with their uh, juice in it to take communion. But all ways are welcome and all people are welcome to come and celebrate together. And so I would encourage you to join us for worship and celebrate World Communion Sunday together with your family and with your church. Let us pray. Loving God, we give you thanks for Jesus, for the spiritual practice and sacrament of communion. We give you thanks for this gift of love to come to the table, no matter who we are, no matter where we are, to share in the love of Christ together. In your name we pray. Amen.